Hey, it's Chris again with CNH Auto Accessories coming from Margate, Florida. And today we have a review of something I think all truck guys should do to their trucks. Now I am biased, so what am I talking about? I'm talking about a lift and tires. So before I get started, that right there is my telephone number if you have questions. Now you can always, uh, I'll put a link of the products on, on the bottom of this YouTube video. So if you want to see how much it is, we can do that for you. Now that being said, John, come on over here. We got the GMC here. This is the Sierra 1500 Duro Max Turbo Diesel, the Elevation X31 Off-Road 4x4. And I tell you, before I go into what we have done, John, get a really good look on this. Now, um, if you step back, you can see here, we do put a three and a half inch rough country lift on here. And I tell you, a three and a half is actually, I think a very good lift. It gives you a great look. It's not so high where you can't get into your bed. You can still do all the things you need to do with the truck, but now you got some really good clearance. I mean, down here in Florida, the roads flood all the time and having a lifted truck, you can go through that very easily. And besides the lift we put on here, we also put in some amp tires here. And these are a good uh, 33, 12 and a half and uh, R20s here. And uh, they look good with the factory wheels. Now I'm gonna go over a few things here. So let's swing around the front here. Now, if you haven't done uh, any wheels with a Chevy or, or a GMC, basically a GM product, you do a lot of times have to put spacers in there because when you go a little wider, there is not a lot of room behind there if you're staying with the factory room. It really kisses up there. So we did put some spacers here and we did put some hub centric spacers in there. So we have good clearance. Now, John, if you want to get your camera in there, you can see the rough country left. Now, if you look at the control arms, they're in red. Boy, do I like that. I think that really pops. And he does have a little bit of red in the, uh, the truck itself, a little red in the logos and stuff. And um, it's a nice accent. I think it looks sharp. Now, between the tires and the lift uh, we, we, uh, and the spacers, we have a pretty good clearance on this. Um, now, as you know, GM products, and I don't know why GM does it, instead of having a real a round wheel well, they have a oval. That means instead of this being a little further, it comes in a little bit here. And that U-shape makes it a little harder for wheels and tires to fit in there. Now, again, we put the lift, we put the spacers, um, and of course we did the bigger tires in here, and it, it clears it just fine. But uh, GM, I mean, you know, I know uh, you can really do a round wheel well, that'd be better. <laughs> again, I think this is a great look. It rides nice. Now this is a, a hybrid tire. Now, if you're not familiar with the hybrid tire, you got your mud trains, you got your all trains. The RTs are your hybrid. That's something in between. Basically, it's going to ride like a all-terrain, so you can be a good highway, but it's going to look like a mud terrain, which has a nice aggressive side here. Uh, I think these are terrific looking tires. They do have a really nice ride. Uh, I don't find them particularly noisy. I think, you know, they, they ride very nice, and um, you're going to be very happy with them. Now, again, come over here, John. Let's get the camera in the back here. You, squeeze in here you can kind of see uh, the lift in the back as well now you got some nice clearance here uh, now the lift kit does level this off so as you know the backs of trucks have a tendency to sit two inches higher when you do a suspension kit they're going to level that off for you so it looks a little bit more even again even with the the spacers we put on here which is i think an, an inch and a half uh, just comes a, a, a little bit here not much which i I think it looks better that way. You can't really go wrong. Now, again, if you like this and you want us to do it, you can always come to the store. Let us uh, put this on for you. Uh, we do ship anything. So if you want uh, the Rough Country lift, we could ship it to you. You can have it done locally or do it yourself. Either way, we got you covered. Uh, again, thank you very much for checking our videos. I never say thank you enough for all the great customers we get. We got so many people calling us, and uh, we really appreciate that. Uh, again, this is a review of the Rough Country three and a half inch lift here with the amp tires here on a GMC uh, Duramax here with the Elevation uh, X31 setup. And before I go, like and subscribe. Thank you.